Hey guys, what's up? TD Jew, the B here. Uh, okay, so today I'm just going to do a really quick video. I'm going to talk about the entity on the blood web. So, for you guys who don't know, once you hit level 10, something called the entity, which is the dark force that sacrifices you on the hook and eats you, actually comes onto your blood web as well, and it starts eating up some of the potential items or talents that you might have, that you would have normally got. Um, this is a good and a bad thing as long as you understand how it works. So we're going to explain that today in the video. Um, we're going to use the killer um, on his blood web. We're going to spend some of our blood points here and we're going to show exactly what this looks like. So let's go into the blood web. Okay, so the entity starts on one of the four, sorry, one of the eight corners of the blood web. And if you can't see that, I'm going to highlight it here. This is the start of one of the eight corners. There's another one here. Okay, then it goes down. Then there's another one here. It goes down. Another one here. You can see it quite clearly now on the killer's one, which is really good. And the last time I tried to show this, it was really hard to make out. So essentially, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. So that's the full eight. And basically, it starts on something on the very outside. I, I think it starts on either the mystery box or the talent, whichever one you haven't went for first. And then after it's went for that, it will start going through all the uh, all the different um, all the different talents connected to it. And then once it runs out of a path, so for example, you can see the entity wants to go here now to faint region. Well, it won't be able to take that, so it's probably going to move on to one of these other ones which are at the end of the blood web. And the reason it started over here as well is because I was quite fortunate. Both the talent and the mystery box was on the end of this arm. So you get about four or five choices before the entity comes. I'll show you that once we complete this blood web. Um, so basically, the next move for the entity would normally be here. I'm now going to say that it'll move to a close by to the hollow shell. But it could move over here. It moves to something that's very expensive because the game reckons the expensive stuff's the good stuff. Um, like this one's a, a rare offering, whereas the rest of it's uncommon. So my theory is it's going to move here next. It um, doesn't matter which one I choose. So I'm just going to spend as little as I want because I want it to complete this blood web and I want to keep as many points as possible so we can get to those level 20, level 25 and unlock those more perks. So I'm going to take this one here. Uh, this one here. And this went over here. So that's fine. Now it will definitely, definitely move to here. So if I really want Ardent, Ranging, Wrath, which gives me devious points, which I actually kind of want. Um, I'm actually going to take it. So the next move is to follow the line. The entity is definitely going to take this because it's right on line with it. Um, it doesn't move about the web, it only follows the line until it can't follow the line anymore, then it'll go to somewhere else randomly. So I'm going to take this. Okay, it goes to here. Now, I'll take this one, and it'll start on this one, then I'll have to buy that last one, so let's do that. And then, as predicted, I'll take this, and we move on again. Okay, so that takes you to the next level. Now, I'm going to show you something. The entity doesn't appear straight away. What actually happens, first of all, is um, as you get about five or four moves before the entity comes. So I'll just show you right now. Um, I need to decide where I want to go. So do I want that talent or do I want to go for the mystery box, which is up here? I'm just going to go and finish off that talent because sometimes I actually do use that one. I did lose a talent the last time on the mystery box um, because I, it was on level 14 and um, because I was actually more concerned with the mystery box because it was a talent that I didn't have any use for. And, and also if you miss a talent, don't worry. If you miss an item or something else you want, don't worry. Um, they do refresh. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take this here. Okay, and as you can see, the entity hasn't arrived yet. When the entity arrives, it doesn't take something straight away, it picks one of the eight corners to start on and then after that it moves to one of the two connecting pieces. So if it started here where my mouse is, it would go to either here or it would start here. So I can imagine this straight away taking Ebony Memento Mori, which allows me to sacrifice people with my weapon. 
But uh, yeah, I'll just take one more thing just to show you guys. That it doesn't appear yet. Um, so basically it'll be about... By the time I get to the talent, it should have appeared. And then after my next pick after that, it will start um, eating stuff on the board. So that's all I've got for this video as far as that's concerned. Um, the next video coming up will be an uh, in-depth description about what killer talents are good. Um, which ones are good for uh, chasing down those pesky survivors, hanging them up in the hooks, getting those merciless victories and uh, generally just raking up as much points as possible because unlike the survivors builds there's only one way to play killer and that's the way where you get the points um, and a lot of people might not like to hear it but uh, getting the points isn't as, uh, as hook camping as people might think um, because if you do that kind of playstyle you're going to walk away with a 15 minute game and maybe about 8 to 9k points so and then again you might not even catch anyone so you might just be running about like an idiot all day I'm going to teach you guys what to look out for in game and um, I'm going to show you what talents to pick in the next video and I might even do a little bit of gameplay but for now that's all I've got thanks for tuning in guys hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and um, give it a thumbs up anything else you want to do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time stay beastly Push.